We're going to take a look at another way to organize your inbox, and it's through labels. So let me show you the labels I already have here. If we look down here, we have one from Tony Dobson, and it's labeled Projects to Do. And down here, we have another one about Doug's classes, Summer 2015. So this email references anything Doug is teaching during the summer months. And here's another one for technology tickets. So what does this mean? On the far left-hand side, we have more labels. If I click that, I can check out projects to do. So anything that is upcoming that I have to do is gonna be listed here. So I've tagged an email when it's come in to say here's a project that I have to do. Put it onto this list so at any given time I can click the projects to do label and anything that I have to do will appear. Go back to more labels again and let's go down to tickets. So here's a technology ticket that I put in and it's just a way for me to track, just to keep on top of issues. So how do you create a label? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna open up this particular email. So there's something that uh, about a summer class that's up and coming. So let's say I wanted to label this with a brand new label. I can go to the top, click the little downward facing arrow, and I can create new. Call it say iPad. If this is an iPad related email that's important, click create. You'll see at the top, now it's been labeled iPad. It's in the inbox and iPad. But gray is pretty mundane. If I go back to my inbox, it's so small, it blends in. You can't really see it, so we need to change the color. Go back to more labels. Go down. Find the iPad. Click the downward facing arrow, label color. And we can choose like a dark pink. And now we see that it's changed from gray to dark pink. So it just stands out. So if I click iPad just to prove the point, it's only going to pull up the iPad labeled emails. Now that I've already created some labels, all I have to do is now I can just drag emails into the label section to automatically label them. I could open the email, click the little labels, apply a label, but sometimes we just like to click and drag. So I'm just going to pretend that, oh, here's a summer class. I'm going to click this email and I'm going to drag it over to the far left hand side. And this should be a summer class. I'm going to let go and now they're labeled with summer class. So if we click on in labels, and you see it's disappeared from my list here because what I've done is put it inside, not only labeled it, but I've kind of shuffled into a folder. And we see here are those emails that we've dumped into this label. So I'm gonna click on inbox. So to compare, right now, Renee's email is in the iPad, it's in my inbox, it's in the mainstream, but when I wanna move it out of that and I want to physically put it into the iPad label or like folder, then it moves it out of my inbox into the label section. It's still there, it's easily accessible, but it's cleaned up my inbox. So this is two ways to organize. Labels, so I can physically see inside of my inbox, and the second way was then I can move them out of my inbox into the label section, cleaning up my inbox, but still keeping them organized for future reference.